What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. This is a UNC episode, though. Um, I just had to make a video after just watching the game. I mean, the clutch shot by Larry Nance. Games like this can turn the tide of a whole season. And I mean, it's not like we're super bad. I mean, this puts us at 8-4. and four. We still have twice as many wins as losses. And I mean, two of our losses are to top 25 teams. Indiana is top 10 right now. So, it is what it is. But Larry Nance, I keep calling him Larry Nance, Pete Nance, I'm sorry. Pete Nance hitting that shot, man. That shit was big. That shit was Luke May-esque. That shit reminded you of Luke May, like, that Kentucky shot. Like, wow. I mean, Baycott, 28 points. He went crazy. R.J. Davis got some clutch baskets down the stretch. And I really am high on R.J. Davis. Like, down the stretch, I want us to go to R.J. Davis. Caleb Love chucking deep ass threes. We've seen it a hundred times. I don't want that down the stretch. Get the ball to RJ. He made some clutch buckets, bro. But um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really happy with how this game turned out. I mean, at one point we were down like 11, 12. We were down 14, and it was getting ugly. We came back. They pushed it back up to 11. Then we came back. It was a thriller of a game to watch. And uh, after we forced overtime, like, the momentum was ours. It was basically our game to lose, and we took care of business. Like I said, Baycott, 28 points, 15 rebounds. He said he'll die for Carolina. That shit crazy. Pete Nance, uh, 40 minutes, bro. Like, these guys play heavy minutes. Uh, 8 points, 10 rebounds. 0 for 6 from 3, though. Like, we got to tighten up, bro. Um, Leaky Black, 7 points. He made a clutch 3 himself. It was good, bro. He made a clutch three himself. That shit was crazy. And I was saying, Leaky Black, he made a clutch three himself, which was really kind of a surprise. But yeah, Leaky being able to stretch the floor and make shots is really going to propel this team come tournament time because it changes the whole scouting report for this team. You know, he he's going to be very, very vital to be able, you know, he doesn't have to be an elite three-point shooter. He doesn't have to be Brady Manning. Just make the shot when it's there when you're wide open and they're daring you to shoot make them pay for it that's all you got to do if you're leaky black from three but yeah he had seven points 34 minutes himself six rebounds um damn bro, i'm trying to record all right y'all i'm back people keep fucking calling me on kinds of other shit interrupting my masterpiece video okay anyway leaky black seven point six rebounds 40% from the field, you know, that's always been leaky. He doesn't attempt too many shots, plays his role. But I think he can attempt more and be more aggressive. You know, five shots, you know, you got to do more. But anyway, R.J. Davis, 21 points, four assists, eight rebounds is crazy. <laughs> and six for 13 from the field is basically 50%, 20% from three. So nobody really shot well from three. But, yeah, I can't really say anything good about that. But he was still good from the field. That's the thing about RJ. His three-point shot isn't falling. He can do other shit. Caleb just keeps jacking. Um, I mean, Caleb, 42 minutes, 8 for 20, which is still close to 50%. Well, kind of. Um, 4 for 13 from 3. That's where it's like, all right, bro, at that point, you're under 33%. Um, seven assists, which is like, that's what I want out of Caleb. Pass the fucking ball. You know, you're going to get yours. You're going to score regardless. But just pass the ball. Seven assists, 22 points. Cool. 42 minutes. Cool. Now, you move on to the bench. Puff Johnson, two points in 13 minutes. Three fouls. You got more fouls than points, Puff. Step it up. Step it up, bro. I honestly expected Puff to be a starter this year. I, I I expected Nance to come off the bench, to be honest. Like, Puff, step it up, bro. Step it up. Step it up. No excuses. I don't got shit else to say. Puff, step it up, for real. Dead ass. That shit unacceptable. Two points, one assist, two rebounds, 13 minutes, three fouls. What the fuck? At this point, you know, what? This junior year for Puff, ain't it? Sophomore, junior year, I don't know. Either way, your ass is about time to start contributing, motherfucker. Lock in. Um, 
And I don't even know who the fuck this nickel guy is. But he come out of nowhere and get the big ass block. I'm like, oh shit, who the fuck is this white boy? He need to be in the game. <laughs> and he came out after that. But that shit energized the team, man. Shut like that energized the team. So I was glad for that. I don't even know who I bro, I swear I didn't know who the fuck that kid was. I'm like, who the fuck is number 24? Boom, he get that fucking block. I'm like, oh shit. Hey, we need him out there. So fuck it. I don't know who you are, bro, but appreciate it. But you scored zero. Uh, you had one point and we're over two from three. So yeah, man, step it up. <laughs> if you want more playing time, you gotta have to score something. But hey, that 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 pin block was uh pretty cool, you feel me? Pretty cool. Get your name ringing a little bit. Seth Trimble, zero points. This is the thing about Carolina, man. Our bench has to contribute or we're not going to be able to make a deep run, man. We not. Last year, we barely beat Baylor because our bench didn't do shit. Like, our bench has to contribute. Our bench combined for three points tonight. What the fuck? Three bench points is insane. I mean, like, what the fuck? Three bench points, bro. And we played five people off the bench. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seth Trimble, 11 minutes. Zero points, zero rebounds, one assist in 11 minutes. You just out there doing cardio, bro. What the fuck are you doing? You out there doing cardio. What the fuck? And then Dontre Styles, zero points, two minutes, one foul. Don Trey, you're supposed to be contributing by now, bro. Like, y'all young players got to step the fuck up and be able to bring something to the table as far as the rotation goes. We need y'all, bro. Y'all can't be out here just doing cardio, doing fucking nothing, bro. Dead ass. But anyway, we did get the win. Great comeback. And we got to keep it going, man. Hopefully, this energizes this team and brings out that passion to really make a run. Because, you know... Every single year with Carolina, it seems like it's just one game that just puts the battery in our back. And we're just, we just go. Now, we're pretty far away from March, but still, it's still never too early to go on a run. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, this does put that battery in our back and get us going. Anyway, I'm about to wrap this up. Um, if you're a Carolina fan, subscribe. I do do Carolina content. Not often, but I do do Carolina content when there's games like this where I just got to talk about it, I feel like. And um, this is mainly a Hornet channel. I do some Panthers content as well. So if you're just a Carolina sports fan, this is the channel for you. Tap in. And uh, yeah, man, it'll mean a lot. If you can subscribe, like, and comment down below on this video how that shot made you feel. How is the team making you feel? Where do you think we can go from here? All of that, man. I want to hear whatever y'all got to say. Y'all comment it down below. Peace.